Welcome to Wildflower Wednesday. Today's Lakeside Nature Challenge, we are going to look at the flowers that are right under our noses. If we would only get down and look closely into their faces. Today we're going to explore the violets. And the violets are have distinct leaves that are shaped like hearts. And they are close to my heart. And they bloom in the May, April, and sometimes again in the fall. And not all violets are violets. There's white ones and yellow ones and there's hybrids. But if you ever get down and look close inside the face of a violet, you'll see they're what botanists call asymmetrical. That means that if you were to draw a line through the middle of it, only you could only do that one way where one side would be a mirror image of the other. So like here, it would be like right through the middle. So there's two upper petals and three lower ones. And if you look inside, there's what we call nectar guides, those veins going down into the flower. And another thing that's really neat about violets is the bottom petal is actually shaped into a tube called a nectary, and I'll sacrifice one here. Sorry, Violet, but you can see closely on here how that bottom, the bottom petal, which we call the lip, is kind of specialized into a tube, and that's where the nectar is. And you can see it's being protected by this little green leaf called a sepal. And it's protecting that because, you know, some insects might want to cheat to get the nectar and bite through there. So another thing that's really interesting about violets is they also, they produce two kinds of flowers. And one kind of flower is the obvious one that you see. The other one is called cleistogamous, which means, cleisto means like hidden, and gamus means marriage, so it's like a hidden marriage referring to the flower, the male and the female part, producing a new egg. They have a hidden marriage. So let's, Cleistogamous flowers, I, I found one here to show you. They're really hard to find. They're really tiny. And I marked it here. It's right there, see that little? It's a little green flower. And sometimes they're like even a little bit underground, buried in the roots. And so this flower never opens. We think of flowers as being open, but Cleistogamous flowers never open. And biologists think that it may have happened as a way, like a plan B, because violets grow where there's a lot of feet trampling on them. So the Cleistogamous flower may have less a chance of being damaged by hooves or feet or whatever trampling by being kind of buried under there. So your nature challenge is to go out and look for some violets and look for different colored violets, not just purple ones, but they come in all different shades and then there's different species. The ones that grow in the woods are yellow in shadier areas and there's a special one that grows in the prairie that looks like this, but the leaf instead of being heart shaped kind of looks like um, a crow's foot. It's kind of got deeply dissected lobes. So have a great wildflower Wednesday and you know what, one other thing. My mother used to decorate my birthday cakes with violet flowers. They stick really well on frosting, so you could decorate your cake with violet flowers.